I think a city is richer for a diverse set of buildings from all its times in history. It can go back to, say, the Smead Hotel or the Oregon Electric Station from the turn of the century to um, the 1960s when timber was big to uh, the new federal courthouse. All of those give a great richness to our community by representing different stories from our past. Go back to 2008, uh, there were two pits downtown that were symbolic of our kind of stalled hopes for development. I can remember walking across downtown with the city manager, John Reese, when he said, Sarah, you know, one of the keys to downtown is we just need to get these pits filled. So we just really worked together and tried to find creative ways to get that done. And, and then we just kind of kept moving on with the next one being how we would work on that really key corner of Willamette and Broadway in the center court building. Since then, there are six new buildings downtown that are either brand new or re renovated buildings, and those all began with Broadway Commerce Center. So it was pivotal in um, kind of getting, getting things started downtown. From a city standpoint, making sure that our staff that work on loans and development and planning were really coming together with our public safety, our events that we're throwing, all of those things really needed to come together so people could start to see downtown again as a thriving neighborhood. The fact that the Broadway Commerce Center project made a commitment to get started is really what allowed our project, the Woolworth Building, to move forward. Having the the city staff with their leadership and the mayor and the city council work tirelessly toward that effort is really what has helped to make it happen. When I first moved here four years ago, there was fences around this place and when I saw it started to come alive, it was really exciting to be able to have the opportunity to move in here. We neglected it, like many people have over the years. We didn't even look at this building seriously when we were looking for a place to establish our business, and then it just hit us in the face. This is the heart of downtown Eugene. People want to be in communities. They want to do business in communities. Uh, they want to live in communities that have strong, vibrant downtowns. There's obviously a connection between our economic success and our downtown success. One of the areas that's doing really well in Eugene is in that technology and creative business environment. And you know, without a thriving downtown, it's it's hard to keep the talent that is is at the university, or even the talent that would like to, uh, that's already here that wants to work in that environment. They they want to probably go someplace else without a without a cool downtown. Creative businesses thrive on diversity, noise, energy. Um, the fact that there are, you know, are dogs in the building and beer downstairs, and, and we like that kind of thing, and that, um, that contributes to the sort of work that we do. I think downtown's good for new startups because there's, there's a lot of life down here, um, a lot of new students coming out of the college that are excited about trying to find jobs downtown or starting up their own businesses, and where a better place to do it than in the heart of the city. We need to keep telling the story that um, there are reasons to come downtown. It is evolving, but you know it's going to take more than just the people who work down here to continue to evolve it. It's it needs to be a community-wide desire. And it's kind of amazing. I mean, four years ago, nobody would have ever thought that those two pits would be filled. That we'd have this beautiful Lane Community College building and the Broadway Commerce Center. So nobody would have believed that to be true. And it happened, and so what can happen in the next four years is, is really in a lot of ways unimaginable, and I think we're beyond the tipping point.